close your eyes and focus on the breath. When you breathe in, know that you're breathing in. When you breathe out, know that you're breathing out. Notice where you feel the breathing. It may be the movement of the air through the nose, but it also may be the rise and fall of the chest, the rise and fall of the abdomen, any place in the body where you know it. Now the breath is coming in, now the breath is going out. Stay with that sensation. Don't leave it. Other things may come into the mind, but you don't have to catch hold of them. You stay right here. They'll come and they'll go. They may be fascinating and interesting and important, but for the time being you say, this is more important because you want to get the mind trained. As the Buddha said, the mind well trained is what brings happiness. This goes against the currents of the world, which say you get happiness with wealth and happiness with status, happiness when people praise you. But that happiness is like the outer shell of something. It, it peels off pretty quickly. It doesn't go really deep down inside. The real deep down inside of happiness is the happiness that comes when the mind is well trained, because then you know how to use wealth, you know how to use status, you know how to use praise. So you don't destroy yourself, you don't harm other people. People with a mind that's not trained, you, can, you can't trust them with wealth, you can't trust them with status. And if you praise them, who knows what they're going to do. So it's the training of the mind that makes all the difference. So how do you train the mind? You give it one thing to stay with and make sure it stays there. Because the first thing about a trained mind is that it does what it, you tell it to. In this case, you tell it to stay with the breath because the breath is always there to stay with. This way you have a good foundation. Anywhere you go, you can stay with the breath. This is a place where the mind takes its stance as it goes to the day, as it goes to the new year. Today is the first day of the new year, and of course this is just something that's a convention. The sun didn't have a little sign on it when it came up this morning It said January 1st, New Year. It's the same sun that rises every day, same dawn every day. But we make it a special day, and we can make some use out of that special day by looking at what we want to do with it this year that's coming up. We can make a clean break with some bad habits from the past year and develop some good habits starting today with the New Year. So you want to look at what good habits you want to develop. And especially in terms of training the mind, because this is what's going to make all the difference. As I say, a good year or a good day doesn't come from things happening to you, it comes from what you do. If you do good with your body and your speech and mind, well, these become a blessing to you. Your body becomes a blessing, your speech becomes a blessing, your mind becomes a blessing. If you don't do good with these things, then no matter how many good things happen to you outside, again, it's not all that doesn't go that deep down inside. They just slough off. And who knows, if your mind isn't well trained, you take the good things that come from outside and you can destroy yourself, you can destroy other people. So make sure that you work on developing the mind right here as your primary determination for the new year. Now what you want to develop in the mind, that's up to you to choose. As the Buddha said, you use your discernment to decide where you're weak, where you're lacking in the goodness that you want and try to make a difference there. Once you've seen that something is really good, then you try to be discerning in how you plan to give rise to it. For example, with your speech. This is one area that everybody seems to need work on. There are all kinds of ways that we speak in the course of the day, and sometimes they're right speech and sometimes they're wrong. Speech is so easy to change, and yet in some ways it seems so hard. You have your habitual ways of saying things, your habitual ways of dealing with other people. You might want to stop and take stock of, is your speech right? In other words, do you try to misrepresent the truth? Okay, then it's wrong. That's a lie. You try to break people apart? That's not good speech. You try to hurt other people's feelings? That's not good speech either. Or just shoot off at the mouth whatever comes into your mind? Well, that's not good because you want to think first before you speak. You don't want to have to speak first and then think about it later. So if you find there are areas where your speech is needs a little bit more control, okay, then you ask yourself, well, who's in control here? Is the mind in control of itself? Okay, that comes back to meditating. And meditation here is not just what you do when you sit with your eyes closed. Meditation means developing, developing good qualities wherever you go. So try to develop good qualities in your mind. Ask yourself what's lacking in your mind in terms of generosity or virtue or concentration or discernment, and try to make up the lack. Once you've made up your mind that what needs to be done and how it should be done, then you really stick with that. Let go of anything that gets in the way, because you realize that there are pleasures in the world that get in the way of true happiness. We all want all kinds of pleasures, but we have to choose which ones we have to let go of so we get something more important. And then keep your mind at peace as you go through all this, realizing that whatever happens in the world outside, and there's going to be a lot of things happening this year, good and bad, that's unavoidable. You want to make sure that your mind stays calm and on an even keel. 
so that what comes out of your mind in terms of your thoughts and your words and your deeds, those will be good things. This is how you give a blessing to yourself as you go through the whole year. Your thoughts are a blessing, your words are a blessing, your deeds are a blessing, both for yourself and for the people around you. That one, that's what makes it a really good year.